hey guys welcome back to my channel so one of you asked me to do a more detailed video about Slimit on the gram free video that i did and i promised that i will do a detailed video so here am i doing a video about Slimit blockchain Slimit and everything that you need to know about so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification button so let us get into this video so um in 2017 i discovered the platform called steamit actually my husband introduced me he told me that oh there's this platform where you can earn money from creating content and me I have been a content person all my life and it was like oh it's just like Facebook it's just that you earn money from um, creating content on the platform so I was like eh. so he just told me about it because we are cryptocurrency enthusiasts my husband and myself so I came on steam it checked it out and I saw you guys can see the $25 12 you can see the dollar signs on people's posts and i saw people making money from creating content and i was like really and i'm slaving on instagram and on facebook like i i just became i just created a streaming account actually i created um let me look for that account i think the account name is called um is it my, is it my brave vault i can't remember what the account name is i still have some money that i've not been able to take out because i misplaced my 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 what was that thing called my key um excuse me my brave vault is it my brave vault is it jinga let me look for it guys anyway so i created the first account and I was just learning the rope about cryptocurrency and all of that and so I misplaced a lot of money. Um, let me get the name of that account. So um, so I created my first Steemit account and I made a lot of money on Steemit when Steemit was still Steemit guys. I don't think that account still exists because a lot of things have changed. It's not coming on. I'm searching for it. Eh? Oh, okay. So let me search for it because I'm searching for it on Steam It and it's not coming. Uh -uh. So, guys, I created my first account and. So let me just give you guys a brief overview of what Steemit is about. So Steemit is a platform that was created by Dan Larima and um, one other guy, Ned. But both of them have both moved on and they've sold the company to somebody else. And it was built on the predication of um, free speech, of a decentralized um, social media, okay, and... <clears throat> yeah so a lot of people were excited about the idea of not sen get, getting censored for creating content and all of that stuff so it was really a very it's really a very fantastic idea so when i joined simit like there were not so many nigerians on the platform like we had a very small community of nigerians on the platform then i now discover i started finding out that, like nigerians were really really cashing out from the platform so essentially how Steemit works is that you create your content whether um, it's written content or video content whatever kind of content that you want to create at that time okay things have changed now okay I joined Steemit in 2017 and this is 2020 so when you create a content just the same way people will like your your video your content on facebook when you post something people like it so on steam it instead of like what you have is upvotes so i'll show you an example of an upvote so let me go to the main feed so if i see a post for instance this post this post already has a hundred and seven dollars i'm not going to do that let me look for something that 
doesn't have these ones are on trending and there are a lot of chinese <laughs> there are a lot of chinese um uh, creators now i haven't been here in a very long time but because i promised to do this video that's why i'm here so this guy has like zero zero whatever now so you can see this green and red button so if you like a content you can upvote that content so i'm just going to upvote i'm just going to click on the green button so um it's going to send like a message to the blockchain that steam is very low right now so my upvote you cannot even see the value of my upvote anyhow so yeah so when you upvote it's actually um money that you are voting because there's a pool where the community has money blah 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 anyway so let me show you guys my wallet um it's been long i've been here i don't know how much is in there right now but from contents that i've created the value of oh i'm still getting <laughs> steam the value of my account is about two steam dollars uh, my steam power is about 48 48.776 steam and my steam is 3.904 steam so this is what my account looks like currently so let us go to is it coin telegraph crypto what was that thing to check exchange rates um coin market cap so there's a just the way you have an exchange when you want to exchange naira to dollar for cryptocurrencies there's something called coin market cap so in the coin market coin market cap that is where you get the value of all cryptocurrencies and how much they are currently valued at so for instance we are at coin market cap so the current value of bitcoin as of today is nine thousand dollars ethereum is two hundred and twenty five dollars Tether is zero point nine nine um dollars um xrp ripple is zero point zero point one seven dollars so it's less than one dollar so i'm going to look for how much steam is currently worth um so it's real money so that's steam that you are seeing just now so steam is currently worth zero point two zero zero three nine eight less than a dollar but as at the time i joined steam it um, one steam was equivalent to about fifteen dollars, so we were really cashing out on a lot of money because one steam was about fifteen dollars, and I had like at some point I had close to fifty steam steam dollars and all whatnot. So basically, it's like your no normal social media, but you are being paid in cryptocurrency. Okay hope that's clear enough but now let me tell you guys that a lot of things have changed dan larima has moved on ned um the dan larima's partner also moved on so steam it was sold to a chinese billionaire the guy that owns the tron blockchain so there was a lot of issues in the community so people moved on for for instance i haven't been on steam it for close to two years because at some point during the cryptocurrency meltdown like crypto did not just make sense like steam it didn't make any sense like excuse me like yeah yeah if you create content you can still make money you can see the value of the money is like zero point something something but it didn't make sense to me again because we legit cleaned out of this platform like a lot of nigerians made so much money on this platform but when it's like zero point two something like it's less than one dollar it doesn't make sense to me I can rather spend my time doing something else. But there are people who still make use of this platform. Like it's a good way to get to know more about cryptocurrency. Then the platform just became very toxic. People the the like there are some technologies that I can't even begin to go into right now because they are so technical and all of that. So you have people that are called whales. Whales basically are the 
big fish on this platform say so they have lots of money and they're just fighting amongst themselves so Steam it wasn't really interesting. I was so passionate about Steam it that I was introducing lots and loads of people, um, teaching them how to make money on this platform. Some people bought phones, like people made money. <laughs> I'm just looking at my old old content and I'm just smiling. So yeah, that's what. So there are other um, cryptocurrency social media sites. Um, I would do another video for you guys, but yeah, that that's um, about Steamit. But if you want to create a Steamit account, you can still create a Steamit account, but it's not just what it used to be. And they are trying to regrow the whole Steamit account, the whole Steamit community, because some of the older people that used to be on the Steamit community, they moved on to other platforms. Um, I would also point out that there are other sub um what are they called now, sub-communities on Steemit. So apart from the main Steemit platform that is a blogging platform, so you have things like DTube. DTube is like an alternative to YouTube, but you earn in cryptocurrency. So if you would like to create video content, you like to... Um, you are not a you don't like writing right some people like to write some people like to do video so if you like to do video you can create content on youtube in fact the first major like 50 dollars that i made on steam was through youtube because i was creating lots of video content i i i didn't even do youtube at that point because at that point youtube did not make sense to me that was when that was just about the time when YouTube was like, you have to have a thousand subscribers, you have to have 4,000 watch hours before you can begin to earn money and all of that um, talk. So at that time, I felt like, why do I need to come and stress myself when I can just create content on YouTube? And as at that time, cryptocurrency was so high. Like one Steam dollar was going for like 15 15, I think the week I joined Steemit, one Steam dollar was equivalent to about $18. So it was a lot of money. And you could get like five Steam dollars. So that's five times. Well, look at look at my post. I did a video on my first DTube reward payout. I don't know if that video is still available because their bandwidth is so small. Um, let me check if it is I'll put a link to it on YouTube so you guys can go and watch that video but it was so fun went to myself and my husband went to buy pizza we shall just bought a lot of things because I think the money that I got for my first payout then this almost three four years ago was about 30,000 now for writing and it was so cool like it was really really cool anyway that was when steam it still made sense now steam it is just a shadow of itself i hardly come here guys like i really do hardly come here but yeah so for the person who was asking me about steam it so this is what steam it has become most simply i don't know whether to say the shadow of itself i think it is because most of the people that were on this platform like even most of the nigerians that i knew that on the platform most people have moved on but if you want to you can <laughs> you will see a lot of chinko people on the platform now that because it's a chinese guy that owns this platform so and most of the old look at now see it's just chinese stuff it's just tiny but if you want me to do research on cryptocurrency platforms like i used to know a couple of them um just leave a comment in the comment section and i would look out for some for you i don't do this anymore because <laughs> everybody grows in life okay some things you just outgrow certain things but yeah but if you are interested in cryptocurrencies I'm still interested in cryptocurrencies, but it's just that I'm no longer interested in this side of cryptocurrency. Steam it really had a lot of um, potential. It's just sad that 
the whole idea did not work. I think I, I have a video on Facebook or somewhere where I did like a one hour tutorial on how to, what Steam it is about, blah, blah, blah. I'll just put a link to that group so you can go and watch everything that you need to know if you are interested in joining Steam it. So yeah, that's um, Steam it. That's my Steam it journey. That's my Steam it story. Um, I remember at some point um, that Larima created another crypto or partnered with some people and they created another cryptocurrency called EOS and a lot of people were really talking about how they were going to create another Simit type of platform. Let me even check how much EOS is currently worth um, and a lot of people were really I think I even joined their, what's that thing called now, their beta um, but they've not sent any mail as to whether they've started that platform or not. But I know that Tron, they have their own social network. I know that Ethereum and um, what's the other people's name? Like there are a couple of, there are a couple, okay, EOS. This is EOS. So EOS is currently worth $2. Okay, that's not bad. It's currently one e um, one EOS is currently one squat two point forty two dollars. I know that they created their own social media at some point and a lot of my friends that were on Steam it moved to that platform. I would look for the information on what the platform is called. I think it's called voice. Something voice, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So and there are just so many there are just so many cryptocurrencies these days that you just um some are fake some are some are real some i don't know some <laughs> some are just not worth it but I, if you are interested in cryptocurrencies let me know okay you guys i just said let me check for eos social media so i was correct it's called voice um so the said that the ambitious decentralized social network from the creators of EOS Block 1 now has a launch date for its public data, July 4th. The platform, which went into private beta in February, will also release an iOS app that verifies the identities of users without government IDs. So this is voice.com. So if you are interested in Steam it, I would suggest you actually come on voice.com because it is not what it used to be anymore okay so this is voice of voice um, I think I already have an account so I'm just going to log in but I really cannot remember my account <laughs> I'm coming guys let me go and look for my okay so you guys you cannot just sign into voice just like that you need to request for you to gain access because they are still in beta, so you need to request. Uh, they want to profile you to know whether or not you're a scammer or you're a real person. So, um, so yeah, you guys can check it out. Uh, I know that anything that Larima does is, and or you can just come and check out the blog, blog and find out more information. So, you guys, you can check out the blog. Um, this is what. I think the voice interface looks like you need to request for access um, so a few people are already on the platform using the platform so yeah this is just a very simple platform from what I can see so yeah, if you're interested in steam it don't I don't know this is just me being very frank don't waste your time just check out this other platform I think you would have better value for your time than just going to Steam is just all Chinese.